Yeah, hey man, my name is John Shaban and I'm from Cape Town. How's it? Hey. <laughs> so John Shaban, tell us tell us a little bit more about yourself. What what, what do you do? Why what do you do in Cape Town? Well, I'm a um, I'm a musician first. I work part time in various different things like the art film shoot, the art event, whatever needs kind of you know people when sure. I when I don't make enough money. Yeah, <laughs> you know? whatever works available. But um, you know, I'm, I've been a musician in Cape Town since I think my first gig there was like 2001 or 2002. I've only been doing the solo thing now since probably about January 2012 or so. But yeah, it's going it's going well. Cool. But yeah. a bit of background on that, John used to play, uh, I assume, guitar for, or still. I actually play saxophone for Captain oh, Stu. Wow, yeah. nice. Yeah. This is yeah. a saxophone man. Yeah, yeah. Was, Captain awesome. Stu started when we were all at high school and then um, I haven't really pursued saxophone since. I still, you know, I still jam with various bands and when they need me, and and Captain Sue obviously being the main one. But yeah, I mean, it's not something. It's not something I really pursued. Guitar. I studied guitar. I studied. Uh, sure. At GCT. From what age? Well, when I finished high school, I went to university okay. there. So from eighteen, and then I didn't finish the course, but I did do a lot of it. Okay. Cool. Man, yeah. man of many talents. <laughs> nice. Okay. And for for those of you that haven't heard yet, John John's up in Joburg and and surrounds at the moment. He's doing a bit of a solo tour, mm. a bit of a, a breakaway from from everything that's going on in Cape Town. For a bit. Mm. How's, how's it been going? Are you, are the, has the tour started already? Yeah, it started last night. Well, if you're listening to this next <laughs> week, it didn't start last night. It started last Wednesday. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 been going well so far. Yeah, the oh. the first gig was a good warm up one. Um, rad crowd, good response. Um, yeah, I played at Arcade Empire, which was recently voted as one of the best sure. venues in the country. So it's yeah, always cool to play yeah. there, you know. And then what, what's what's sort of going on with the gigs? Anyone anyone that's sort of joining you on the bill for the night? You uh, last night, I, last night I didn't know any of the other bands that played. I think I think those Wednesdays at Arcade Empire are kind of almost viewed as an pre-organized mic night, open mic night kind of thing. Oh, sure. they're in association with Robertson Winery at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you try any of the T-bone steak? I did. They gave me a free T-bone steak. Woo! It was good. Was it? it was good. It was good. Nice. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, it's that like extra little bit of like a deal clincher when they're like, oh, we can only pay you this much, but you get a free meal. And yeah. all musicians yeah. are like, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, man. And then uh, I've actually got your your tour, how can I say, gig, gig roster in front of me. Who, yeah. who is Frank Turner? What's, what's, what's up with uh, Frank Turner is possibly one of my top five kind of folk punk artists in the in the world, you know? And um, folk punk, it's a fairly underground genre. I mean, you know, we were discussing it now and, and a lot of people have heard of bands such as like Flogging Molly and Dropkick Murphys and those kind of bands that take like they kind of Scottish and Irish kind of traditional music and fix it in to their their punk show you know now funk, folk punk is more kind of like a uh an, a toned down like acoustic feel of that kind of vibe you know i mean you could picture like guitar with uh like fiddle or like penny whistle or something going on sure. top of it you know it's got a kind of that like folky sound now frank is uh he's he his background is he used to sing for a band called the million dead and they were like a kind of like post hardcore punk band um around in like the early 2000s um in 2006 he did his solo project and um yeah park life in joburg booked him to play here with uh what who was it katie tunstall and donovan frankenrider and for me luckily it worked out that he couldn't play park life in cape town so he did a smaller show and i submitted to play it and i ended up getting the gig awesome. nice yeah how yeah, was cool. the gig oh it was epic man like i mean I was very nervous because I mean he was there and watching me you know uh, um, I, I got lucky the night before I actually got invited to go hang out with him and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff so that and luckily that part is out the way yeah, I mean yeah, I'd already nice. met him and yeah. I didn't feel very awkward being around him and stuff sure. but I mean there were a couple of hundred people there just to watch him and and majority of those people I'd never played to before so it was quite overwhelming but it went like really really well no, Good. Yeah. what no, would you yeah. say was the response like from this different crowd it was it was it couldn't have been better yeah that's like it was a really 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 cool gig and valuable for me as a musician like in my career going forward you know nice. speaking speaking of which what where can people hear your music uh, have you got mm. any recordings out yeah I, I, I just i just recently launched uh, a little like splash page website um com. so that's that's easy um otherwise facebook twitter soundcloud um i've got three recorded songs up on soundcloud 
Uh, they're quite old, but they're there. Um, busy preparing to go and record a full album. And then my band, The Shabin, also has a Facebook page. And it's all the same material, but you can hear it full band versus okay. versus solo, yeah. Sure. And you mentioned you, you've got quite an interesting lineup for your, your, I can say, your backing band up here for this tour. No, they didn't come with me, unfortunately. Oh, no. Yeah, I wish I could have brought them, but... Um, uh, my bassist is is very into his jazz, and it's the jazz festival in Cape Town, Cape Town at the moment. Sure. So he's playing and attending okay. as a fan, okay. and and yeah, I mean it's also one of our good friend's weddings, which I'm unfortunately missing. But he's uh, okay. yeah, so he's staying at home and representing. Cool. For those that, that don't <laughs> yeah. know, that's an upright bass with with uh, the folk punk. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. he plays upright quite, bass. Quite very, very, very rare instrument to yeah. find yeah. in the kind of like alternative scene. You know? Yeah, Definitely. yeah. Nice man, and where where to from here? I mean, you you've obviously been around the block a few times with, with yeah, I think and all of that. Is this now the the kind of beginning of the next yes, the, the next very, chapter very for much, John? What, yeah. what are your kind of battle plan going forward? Um, I'm well after after yeah, I'm going home, and then I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Durban hopefully kind of May, play some shows there, and then um, I'm actually busy working on some touring to the states in August. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've gotten yeah, in cool. touch with a couple of festivals there that do folk stuff, and Ooh. I've got a pretty good response, and they're showing some interest. And I think I've got one date locked down, so awesome. that in, like incentivizes the, yeah, 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 the rest yeah, of the wow. tour, you know? So, yeah, that's the that's the kind of plan. I mean, you never know what's going to happen when sure. it comes to visas and money yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff, but yeah, that's what I'm f 